welcome back guys so today is one of those days where I kind of just take you around and show you some of the everyday things that are going on around here while Josh is gone at work um, you probably know by now that I try to tackle anything that I can so that when he gets home he can be completely focused on the build and not dealing with any of the like little things such as maintenance on the tractor that goes on so something really simple that I can handle for him is just greasing up the tractor so that's one of the things that I'm gonna do today I'm also going to do a little bit of bush hogging around here because the pasture grass has gotten so long and I'm gonna go ahead and start painting that back door so uh, yeah let's uh, get started real quick I wanted to show you little Ricky over here so hang on so some of you have asked how little Ricky is doing and if he's doing his job or not and here he is wandering off into the background there. So he's been doing great so far. Um, the girls, especially this black one right here named Wednesday, have been really receptive to him. She's been standing for him, so that's a good sign. And I think that we are going to have some goat kids on the way here in several months. All right, let's get started on the tractor. Okay, so the type of tractor that we have is a Mahindra 3550. So it's got 50 horsepower, and we really like it. It's done everything that we've asked of it so far. So that's like things um, such as pulling logs out, pushing dirt around our driveway, bush hogging, moving animal houses. Um, it's, it's worked really well for us. So I've got a grease gun here, and I'm basically just going to take the tip on this grease gun and go around and grease all of the joints. This is regular tractor maintenance that we do about every eight hours that the tractor has been run. So let me show you this little knob right here. Okay, so if you see this right here, this is a grease fitting. I'm gonna put the tip of the grease gun on here, pump it a couple of times, and once the grease starts to come out the sides, I will know that it is greased as much as it needs to be. So I'll work my way around to each one of these and take care of that real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little top off right here. Try to keep my hands out of the way of the camera. I'm just gonna pump it. Can you see it start coming out the sides there? That's about good. Okay, in order to hit anything else, um, I've got to move the tractor around a little bit so I can uh, get to the joints. The little one's got to hang out with the brothers for this part. Okay, so I'm going to start down here with these guys. I've got them both under here and under here on this side and also back here under these arms. So anywhere that I've got metal on metal um, moving, it needs to be greased. The greasing is done and now I'm going to start moving on to bush hogging. I've got some nice messy hands here between the staining, painting, shoshugi bonding and greasing. Um, any girl that gets her nails done would uh, be horrified at my hands, I'm pretty sure at this point. So anyways, um, you can see how long this is getting. Uh, hay is going to be made out of the majority of our pasture, but what is around our camper and living space and generator, I'm just going to go ahead and cut down. It's something I've been meaning to get to, but just have not made time for it. So, all right.
hope you guys can see this. I know it's kind of dark and loud in here. and I'm gonna get to painting the trim around the door. Ready, Hayde? Yep. the door looks good? Yes. What color do you want to paint the door? Blue. Blue? Yes. Okay baby, let's go look. What color is it going to be? Green. You're going to have to wait for Friday to see what color we decide to do the door. Red. Just a peek. What colors? Red. Red? And orange. And orange? Blue. And blue? And, and yellow. And yellow? Yes. Okay. And orange. <laughs> and what? And orange. Yogurt? Yes. She calls yogurt ooh ah. <laughs> Alright girl, let's go pick up mission switch. Okay? Yes. Alright. Josh is home and we've got one more project that we need to take care of uh, before we can get back to the house, I guess. Yeah, so our uh, buggy we, uh, I, not we, me, I, lost the keys. Um, somehow, I'm not sure they're in the field. I don't know where they're at. Mm -hmm. uh, could be at a store, who knows. So, uh, we want to get a new key made. Um, didn't have the key number, so had to go buy a new ignition. 53 bucks. Yes. So, this right here, it's a little quick connect. It should unsnap, unscrew, put back in, snap back in, and voila, be back in business for tomorrow. I can't wait because I have missed it. I've only been without it for a few days, but uh, it just makes my life so much easier. So I'm glad that we can get this fixed. And one of the cool things about this is that Josh has taught me so much since we've been out here with like how to use tools or how to operate um, the tractor and do different things that I wasn't previously knowing how to do. So I kind of look forward to seeing how this is done. All right, good. Yeah, let's get you, it fixed. Were you sheltered as a child? Also, guys, let me just tell you for all the ladies out there, <laughs> If you really need one of these buggies for your farm or homestead, the key to getting your husband to buy it for you is just to simply get your truck stuck a couple of times really, really nicely in the pasture. And next thing you know, you're going to wake up and have a buggy. Right? That's true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Uh, so here's our ignition switch right here. Um, very simple to take off, just unscrew this. Now it's off, that's it, okay? Um, here comes the hard part, I gotta get underneath there, reach my arms up there and uh, pull them apart. Um, I'd get Aaron's arms up there, but they're, they're a little bit uh, on the thick side, so I gotta get in there and do it. He came for me, guys, you saw that, right? Ignition, please. Thank you. Hmm. All right, here we go. Hopefully, it starts. It's gonna start. I know it's gonna start. It's gonna be. Whoop, whoop. My knight in shining armor, or or orange fluorescent shirt. See the way, right? With something in his beard, probably a snack for later. <laughs> Stop! He did it, Ellie. Your buggy's back in action, girl. Come on, Come on. everybody in. So it was a good day. Um, the everything's bush hogged around the camper. Uh, the frame of the door is painted, and what else? The buggy's fixed. Buggy's fixed. That's operational now, and uh, I haven't even seen the paint around the door yet. I know you'll have to come look. Looks looks better. Do we have color way. for the door? The door frame's painted. We have, we have the kids put all the swatches on there, right. so we're all checking it out, and you'll have to come give your opinion. Ellie Ellie thinks we should do a little bit of every color. No, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. good. So that's it. So we will see you guys on Friday with uh, the next part of the build video um, and the color of the door. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see ya. Bye.